You guys, I'm really excited about today's video because it involves puppies, and what's better than puppies except for the fact that they hate being on camera. Austin, come here. Are we going to be testing out life hacks that dog owners should know? That's right, my dogs Austin and Zoe are joining me today because I have found a list of apparently life hacks every dog owner should know that I didn't know. And we're going to test them out and see like if they're really any good or not. Have I been living my whole life without these dog hacks that I should have known as a proper dog owner? Well, let's do this. Okay, this next hack says if you have a dog that eats too fast, to put a tennis ball in the dog bowl with their food and it's supposed to make them eat slower. And luckily for me, I have a dog that eats their food way too fast. I timed Zoe the past few mornings while she ate her dog food and it took her about 60 seconds to eat her entire breakfast. Okay, so here's her food. I'm gonna put a tennis ball right inside. I've got my phone ready. Let's time how long this takes her. All right, it took her two minutes and 12 seconds. That's double as long as it usually takes her to eat her food. So I would say that this hack was a big old success. Okay, the next hack said to get yourself a plastic pitcher like this one and to use it for your dog's food. So you're gonna fill it up with all of the dog food and then you can use it to keep it fresh and you can just like turn the little top piece and easily pour the food out. Okay, so now the idea is that I can just easily pour my dog's food into their bowl. When it's time to eat. <laughs> I couldn't have planned that fail better, could I have? I don't want any of you to have to experience what I'm currently experiencing. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and say this one is a dog hack fail. Although my dogs are very happy right now because they get to eat all of the food I just spilled all over the floor. Are you helping clean up, Zoe? Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so this next dog hack says to always keep an extra collar around and to attach the dog collar to one end of the leash so that the leash can always be hands-free. I haven't really thought this one through on how it works, but let's see. Okay, so I attached the collar to the handle part of the leash and now I just attach it to my dog. And so I don't really know how this makes this hands-free. It's not big enough to like go around my waist, is it? Hold on, let's see. Maybe if you get like a really big collar, this would work, but I mean, I guess it works like this. Let's see if we can do it around my wrist. But I can totally get how this could work because if you have it wrapped around, let me just see if I can get it, here we go. Yeah, if you get it wrapped around, then you're totally hands-free. You probably, like I probably couldn't use it with my big dog because she would like pull my arm right off. But if you've got like a little dog like Austin, you can be totally hands-free. Let's say that this one is a dog hack winner. All right, this next hack is for dog hair, and it says all you need is a rubber glove, and you can just put the rubber glove on, and you can wipe the dog hair away. And I really hope that this one works, because I can't tell you how many lint rollers I buy like every single month. All right, so to get started, I just need to get some dog hair on my legs, so I'm just gonna, um, no dogs are being harmed. Zoe's supervising. So I'm now covered in hair, as you can see. So I'm just gonna put on my rubber glove here and uh, let's see. Okay, so this does work. It's like getting the hair off, but uh, it's kind of hard because like, what do you do with the hair afterwards? It's just kind of like falling onto the ground. So there we go, I did this leg. I haven't done this leg. I mean, it got, I would say 85% of the hair off. Okay, so while the rubber glove did take the hair like off, it just kind of moved it around. So I'm gonna have to say this is like a maybe winner. I mean, it worked, but it didn't really work in the sense of like that I need to use this. Really what I wanna say is I'm gonna stick to my lint rollers. This next hack says you can make your own at-home pill pockets, which is really great because this little guy here takes a pill two times a day. And it is hard to get him to eat the pills, but pill pockets are very expensive. If you don't know what pill pockets are, they're like these little dog biscuits that have holes in them so you can put the pill inside of them. But this says I can make my own using some peanut butter, some flour, and some milk. So let's try this out. So the recipe said to use one tablespoon of milk. I'm just using like a spoon, whatever, it's about the same. And an equal part of the peanut butter. And then two parts of the flour. So two tablespoons of flour. 
And then just mix this all up. Okay, so the recipe says mix together and form into 12 pockets, then store in the fridge or freezer. Um, so this is what it looks like. What does form into pockets mean? I made a little ball here and then I guess I'll use like my pinky and like form it around that. I mean, I guess that looks like a pill pocket. It's actually pretty good. I'd say this worked out pretty well. I mean, it was tiny bit time consuming, but it does save you a lot of money if you have a dog that takes pills every day. So let's see if Austin will eat one. Hi, you wanna take your pill? Oh, oh, that was tasty, wasn't it? I guess we can go ahead and say this one is a dog hack winner. Okay, so I read one more hack about making your dog eat slower, because most dogs like eat their food really fast, but if you can find ways that make it sort of interesting for them to eat, it's more stimulating and it helps them eat it slower. So this one said, instead of buying one of those expensive dog food mazes, to just use a muffin tin and put food in the muffin tin. So let's try this one out. All right, well I have to say the tennis ball trick seemed to work better as far as getting her to eat it slower, but that still was kind of like fun for them to eat it that way, I guess. But if you're gonna pick one just to make your dog eat slower, I'd stick with the tennis ball one. Okay, so this next hack is treat inspired. It says you can make your own sort of like doggy type ice cream, like a cool treat for your dog to have using just some chicken broth and some kibble and putting it into the freezer. Okay, I feel like this probably would be easiest in a plastic bowl, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna do it in just like a bowl like this. And I'm gonna mix some chicken broth with some water. Okay, I'm gonna put some dog treats in here. These are the kind of like moist dog treats that are really like have a strong smell. I'm just kind of thinking of like what's gonna make them the most interested in this. Okay, didn't specify what kinds of toys to use, but I just grabbed two of my dog's favorites. You can actually see like Austin's soap set that I just took this toy. So I guess now we freeze it. All right, it's the next day. So let's take this out of the freezer. Now I think ideally you would give this to your dogs outside to play with, but it is not nice out here. So I'm gonna just like place it on the kitchen floor and see how long it keeps their entertainment. Okay, moral of the story is each dog needs its own because Zoe did not wanna share. So it's safe to say they really, really like these. They're just kind of messy. They just keep carrying them like all over the kitchen and then dropping them. This needs to be like an outdoor thing, but they really love them and this is a big old dog hack winner. Okay, so this next hack says to put a beer bottle opener on your dog's collar. It doesn't really explain it beyond that, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory because next time you have a cold beer and you need to open it and you don't know where the beer bottle opener is, you can just go, come here, Zoe. Good girl. Perfect. Now I can't really see why you would need this for everyday use, but I think it would be kind of cool if you were having like a big barbecue because people always put the beer bottle opener down in different places and people are always looking for it. But if you have a dog that always comes when you call, like Zoe does, you could just attach it right to the dog's collar and then tell people to call the dog when they need to open a beer. I think this is pretty smart and I'm gonna call it a dog hack winner. All right guys, that does it for all of these dog hacks. Thank you to my sweet puppies for testing them out with me and thank you, you guys, for stopping by and watching. As always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.